One of the scariest things about panic attacks, what can make them really such a disruptor to your everyday life, is that it can be really hard to predict when they will come on. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Renee Millman and it is my mission to help people to heal from codependency, from abuse, from trauma. That is why I'm here and that's why I'm showing up every week on YouTube is to share with you things that I have learned on my healing journey in hopes that it will help you on yours. So today I wanted to offer some tips to deal with panic attacks. This is something that many, many, many people deal with, but first, a little disclaimer, I am not a doctor. Unfortunately, I have to say that. So what I'm going to be offering you today are things that come from my own experience. So please check this out with a medical professional if you feel guided to do so. I'm just talking from my experiences and what has worked for me. So as I mentioned at the very beginning, it can be really, really scary because once you start to get panic attacks, what will go through your mind is, when is that gonna happen again? I don't want that to happen and how can I safeguard myself from that? How can I protect myself from that? What I have found in my own experience is that a panic attack will come on after I have had a string of days of very high stress, no downtime, intense challenges, and also poor sleep. So if there's something going on in my life that is just super, super intense, it's super challenging and it's just consuming me and I don't have time to recharge and I have to go back and do it again and face another day and it's another day of really tough, cha tough challenges, that after multiple days of that, I can start having those symptoms that a, a panic attack is at its onset. So when I look back, that is the pattern that I have seen in, in, my, in my own life. And I know that sometimes the demands of, of a job and or running a business and dealing with a family and raising kids and you have all these demands and you can't always easily take a few hours off and rest and decompress even though you may need that and then you go to sleep you don't sleep very well and then you have to wake up and do it all over again and it's another day of high stress and this panic attack can occur after that so what i have found in my experience here's how it happens for me is um and you can Google what the symptoms are. So these are, this is not an inclusive list, but what I experience is usually nausea. Even if I haven't had anything to eat, I will have uh, my heart beat, will be, my heart will just be racing. My mouth gets dry. I feel like I'm going to lose control of my body, of my bodily functions. I feel like I'm just going crazy, like I'm having a nervous breakdown. Uh, sometimes, many times people say they feel like they're dying or they're going to, they're wondering if they're having a heart attack. And um, this can last for a you know period of minutes. And um, the thing is, is it can happen anytime and anywhere. So from my own experience, I've had it happen on an airplane. I've had it happen while driving a car. I've had it happen in the middle of the night, or it can happen during the day. It can happen while I'm just sitting still. And uh, what's happening is that the body is going into fight or flight mode. Your sympathetic nervous system, the sympathetic nervous system is the part that's responsible for your fight or flight. The parasympathetic is sort of your calming, rest and digest mode. But the sympathetic nervous system is saying, okay, we gotta go to battle. We, ha we have to face something big and all systems ago. So it's gonna send more blood to the extremities. It's gonna release tons of adrenaline and uh, it's getting you ready to go into facing whatever threat is coming your way. The problem is, is that there is no threat. It's just that your body has been on this trajectory of high stress and high uh, energy output and perhaps exhaustion. And you're having a go, go, go. And there's no time for you to rest and go back into that parasympathetic nervous system. So, Physiologically, you are going into, your body is preparing itself to go to war, <laughs> and except there is none. Now, if you come from a background with a lot of trauma, or if you have been through um, recently in the past few years of your life, if you've been through a lot of tragedy, if you've been through a lot of trauma, um, this can also cre create panic attacks. And that's the situation for me. I've been through for the past six years, 
so much um, upheaval that now that I'm in a much better space, now I'm finding that I'm, you know, the effects of having that constant trauma and cr so much crisis, even though I'm in an, a much better place now in my life, that that is still my wiring and I'm working on changing that. So if you start to feel those symptoms I, er, I mentioned before, any, any combination of those, and again, it's not limited to that, that's what they call the prodrome or the prodromal symptoms. That's the symptoms at onset. So if you start to pay attention to when you get a panic attack, notice what are the symptoms that you're starting to feel? And that's your cue to say, okay, there are some tools in my toolkit that I can use here. And here's what I do. What I try to do is, is if possible, I try to get someplace quiet where I can, if I can't uh, lay down, then sit quietly. Usually when I'm in that state of at the onset of a panic attack, my all of my senses are heightened i don't want to be touched i don't want to be hugged i just want to you know i don't want to talk um and i just want to be left alone and um so it's sort of like everything is like lit up so if you if you get these you probably know what i mean now i've had this happen um, and it happened not too long ago where i was driving on a mountain road and it was a two-lane windy road there wasn't any place to pull over for a little while eventually i got to a place and pulled over safely in the side of the road. But if you can't, um, what I want you to do is I want you to start breathing deeply, deep into your belly. So take deep belly breaths. And if you're able to, place one hand on your abdomen and inhale slowly and deeply. Exhale slowly. Feel the rise and fall of your belly. The second thing I'd like you to do is to talk yourself down from that anxiety spiral that you're going into the thoughts of oh no oh my god what's happening what do i do and so on and what's going to happen to me that goes crazy when you're in that state so i want you to be sort of i talk a lot about reparenting on my channel i want you to be that inner parent to self-soothe yourself and say i know what this is i am okay everything is okay I'm just releasing all this tension, everything will be all right, and keep reassuring yourself and tell yourself you are being cared for, you are being taken care of, everything is okay. The third thing that can help you is I purchased a supplement um, by Gaia Herbs called Calm ASAP. This is a wonderful formula, you can get it at any uh, health food store or you can get it on Amazon and I will put a link below the video to this on Amazon and it is it contains Western herbs like uh, skullcap passionflower chamomile holy basil lavender they're all herbs meant to calm the nervous system I've also taken this like if you ever go to bed and you just find you your mind is racing and you try everything you can to get it to stop and it doesn't seem to calm down, um, this can really help. It does not contain kava kava, it does not contain valerian, and it does not make you drowsy. So you can take this in the middle of the day and still go to work and you know do the things you need to do. So I highly, highly recommend this. Uh, what I even do is I have some of these little containers like this. I keep them in my in my sling bag that I carry everywhere. And so I keep a, a dose in there so that I have this at the ready if I feel the onset of a panic attack and it helps immensely. The next thing that I do is I wear these guys. Uh, these are called Psi Bands, that's P-S-I. I'll put a link to these below. These are really good for motion sickness or anxiety and panic attacks. And it's all it is is just a um, plastic strap with this little guy here. And what you're doing, is, or what it works on, is the principle of acupressure. It's pushing on an acupressure point, pericardium 6 or PC6. And uh, if you don't have these, what I have done is I've just used my thumb to push on that point. But if you do get these, it comes with instructions and I believe there's a video about how to put it on, but essentially you're just putting this, you know, if you look at the underside of your wrist, you'll see two tendons in a vein. You don't want to push, put it right on the vein, but to the side of the vein. Um, and you want to put it about two index fingers below the crease of your wrist. Um, and you want to put it kind of tight. 
You can wear them for several hours. When you take it off, it'll leave a, a little bit of a red mark for a time being, that'll go away. But I have worn these on airplanes. Um, if I have a panic attack coming on and it has helped a lot. Um, so that is wonderful. CBD is another option. Um, I don't have any recommendations for that. I know that helps a lot of people. I've tried a couple of different brands myself. That hasn't worked as well for me, but you may find that that's a good option for you too. So I highly recommend you looking into that. Also, it can take things down a notch from that anxious spiral. So that is everything that I wanted to cover today. Um, again, like I said, the side bands and the container and the, um, the, uh, the Gaia um, herbs, um, those are my affiliate links. So if you purchase those links, it does help support my channel. And thank you if you choose to do that. So if you have questions or comments, or if you'd like to share what has worked for you, let's start a conversation in the comment section below because a lot of people deal with this. And I hope that telling you about my story has helped you as well. Please like and share this with anyone that you think may benefit. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you next week.